start with this. Uh, one question that uh, I get a lot as, since I took this role is, so why, why a government innovation lab? So why are you, why Futura? Why do you have this unit and this team? I think, um, first of all, when we drafted the strategy for innovation, uh, we, we wanted to make sure that we're not um, just doing the same thing over and over again and, and looking at new ways of working. So uh, we approached this in terms of, we spoke to a number of stakeholders before we set up. Futura wasn't set up day one. I started, I believe, in February. Futura was set up around May, June of 2018. So we took the time to do our assessment and speak to a number of stakeholders to, to understand what the bottlenecks are and what's really holding up innovation projects. So that's why we decided that it's important to have this unit that's linked to the government that is agile, that allows us to move fast, uh, allows us to be um, iterative, to, to experiment, but also, most importantly, allows us to partner. Uh, partner with local private sector institutions, uh, public sector, but also with international partners. Uh, thanks to Futura, we've been able to run a number of projects in 2018 and um, we'll continue to do so. So that's the reason for the, for the lab itself. That being said, uh, we are institutionalizing innovation within the government. So the fact that we have this unit doesn't mean that we're not working on the longer term sustainability. So the, the policy and the strategy is to really embed innovation within government itself. And this is something that we are working on and should be fully up and running by the end of this year. So, but Futuri will stay because this is really our think tank. It's where we experiment. Uh, it's where we can help public sector departments to, to execute our plans and develop their new ideas in a different way. In terms of how we work, we have a framework, and you may have heard of it. It's called Eduva Innova uh, B30 2030, which is our long-term outlook. And it's really quite simple. Uh, we decided on a framework, so Aruba Innova B30 is not a 100-page document. I mean, it's not even a 50-page document. But it's really a, frame, a framework that has a set of guiding principles in terms of uh, objectives that we want to achieve, uh, what are the results we want to achieve. And we have a long-term 2030 perspective, and, but we also have action plans. So you can see it as a framework and a collection of action plans per project that allows us to achieve our objectives. And I'll, be sh I'll share a couple of those projects today that we've been working on. But really, it's a, it's a roadmap that makes sure that we stay on track and we meet our goals, uh, take into account where we want to be, and also being agile because we were in innovation. As you know, things change, technologies change, priorities can change. So we need to be able to adapt really quick, really, really fast as things change. These are the five famous innovation spaces by now. So within our framework, we work with these five uh, phases. E-government, social innovation, talent, entrepreneurship, and smart society. And today, as the Prime Minister said, the main focus is e-government. Um, and this is very important. It's really, a, not only is it a top priority, but it's also our main priority for this year. And that's why we decided to focus uh, today on e-government. And you will see throughout the day as we go into these conversations and um, our friends from Estonia give the presentation, how e-government is connected to every single other innovation space. So really, it's, it's a driving mechanism, it's a support structure, and it will help accelerate all the other spaces as well. And we need all the other spaces to have an e-government, so it's all interlinked in a way. So that's why we have them in circle, because really it's, it's, it's an ecosystem. And so how, so what have we done? I think, um, you know, we've, we've run a lot of projects last year. I don't know top of my head, but my guess is we probably ran about 15 projects since we launched, which is a lot, not considering that we didn't even have a full year. Uh, and how do we do that? Um, our approach was, like I said, fail fast, fail often. Um, our, on average, we took a measurement of how long it takes us from idea to rolling out a, a project. The, our average is two months. That means that some are one month, some are three or four. Our average is two months, 
but we're, our goal for this year is to be able to reduce our average to 30 days. Now, why is that? We have a framework. We know where we want to go. And what we've done that year is we collaborated with a number of partners to test new things, test new models, test, test new ways of doing partnerships. And not each of them are exactly, not each of them are equally, I would say, impactful. Some were lower impact than others, and some had a very high impact. So this approach of um, getting product really fast out allowed us to measure and do an assessment of what's working really well, uh, what's not working so well, how we can adapt. So this year, having the lessons learned from last year, we are able to really hone in on those projects that are high value, high impact. And we could not, and I reiterate, we could not have done this without many of our partners. And I really would like to ask a hand of applause for our partners because we have many, many of you who are here today. So thank you. So like I said, you know, we reiterate off, off, off often and as much as needed. Um, we are very, very proud of our milestones. We have a hard, small, uh, young and hardworking team, uh, which we're looking to expand uh, based on the goals that we want to achieve this year. But more importantly, we want to continue working with partners. And um, that's really the only way that we can make this happen. So I can stand here and talk you through all of these projects. But we have a lot of information out there. So we have an annual report, with this, which is digital and online. Uh, you can email us, or you can even, I believe, download it from our website or submit a form so you can have it downloaded from our website. It's our annual review 2018. Um, if you have problem, problems finding it, please do let us know. We'll make sure you have it. So all of these projects are, are uh, defined and detailed in, the, in that annual review, as well as some of our, our key projects. But what I'd like to do today is, I would like you to hear it from one of, of our partners. And because many of these projects have had a really great impact, but I've asked Christy Matz uh, from Metabolic Foundation to join us today, which is one of our core partners in executing a number of projects, actually. Uh, but one of them is, um, you probably have seen the buzz, it's the mobile, um, mobile backup, and it goes by Mobi, it's one of the projects. We also have some other projects working with Christy, and I've asked Christy to share uh, from her own perspective what her experience was and what the impact is, uh, was from this, from this project.